Backpack or messenger bag? How do I know which one is right for me? Well, hey guys, welcome back to Style Tips for the Everyday Guy by Cladwell.com, where you can get your free personal roadmap to dress better. I'm Eric. And I'm Allison. And today we're talking about backpacks versus messenger bags versus kind of briefcases as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to walk through uh, the differences between them and how to pick out which one's best for you. So we got a question from one of you guys. Um, Austin B. wrote in and asked, uh, hey, what would you choose as a college student, a messenger bag or backpack? So we're going to answer that question and we're going to kind of work through different scenarios in life as well when it might be best. So Allison, start us off. Just walk us through what are the differences between the different kind of men's bags you could have? Well, backpacks, as most people know, were originally created for functionality, mostly for school or kind of a carry-all that will comfortably fit on your back. Um, so originally those had nothing, the design of those really had nothing to do with style. But I think today those are moving more into a style forward, like a trend. Um, so there are some changes, there are some more style forward backpacks yes, today. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, but then along with that, to kind of accompany uh, having a carry-all that was more stylish, you have the briefcase, which um, most people, you know, you picture like your dad's old briefcase. It's basically right. a leather box yes. with a lot of structure. <laughs> um, and today that has kind of those, that structure softened up a little bit. And then you've added a shoulder strap, which is where you get um, the messenger bag. So that's kind of the trendier, more fashion forward alternative. Okay. So is one more appropriate for certain occasions than other? Let's say, let's say I'm a college student or I've got a job, you know, in the workforce or like which one is one more important in one situation than the other? Um, as a generalization, backpacks are definitely going to be more casual. Um, so more appropriate for school or somewhere where maybe the looks don't matter quite as much. Okay. Um, and messenger bags or briefcases are going to be more formal, um, more appropriate for um, professional situations. But like we just mentioned, there's kind of been a blur of lines between those. You can find more formal backpacks now and you can find more casual messenger bags now. So. Right. So we did a casual kind of poll of our our office here and, and it's a it's a casual workspace. So we've got a, a mix of both. We have messenger bags, we have backpacks. Mm -hmm. And then I went into the dev team <laughs> and Andrew, one of our developers said, you're walking into backpack layers. <laughs> like developers, that he said, uh, backpacks are to developers as cargo shorts are to developers. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a fair point. So um, so moving on from there. So is, is can I say one is actually more stylish than the other? Um, typically, you're gonna get the messenger or the briefcase style is a little bit more fashion forward. Okay. But that's not to say you can't find a clean or nice looking leather, even backpack. Those exist now or really clean canvas. Um, they have some really structured backpacks too, um, kind of a backpack with a framing to it, but it still has the two shoulder straps. Yep. So um, as a generalization, I would say yes, the messenger bag, but there's, but there's a lot of versatility yes, there. Absolutely. Okay. And now what about, what about, let me ask you, wearing them? Does it matter, like, if I'm wearing, we were talking about back in the 90s, Chris asked me if uh, you remember the time when it was totally uncool to wear double strap mm -hmm. backpack. Um, so, like, am I going to wear one strap? Same with the messenger bag. You can kind of cross it over versus on your shoulder. Does it matter how I actually wear the bag? Um, it's personal preference, really. I mean, I don't see any issues with wearing both straps of your backpack. I know what you mean. That has yeah. been, like not the look in the past, but um, I think people are moving away from that. So if you're comfortable wearing both straps, go for it. If you'd rather do the one, that's yeah. fine. Um, as far as a messenger bag, I would say um, it's definitely always safe to do the across the shoulder for a men having a messenger mm -hmm. bag. You can do the one shoulder. The thing is make sure your strap is long enough so your bag is hanging more by your hip or yeah. below your hip versus up higher um it get, you're getting much closer to a man purse a little bit in that yeah. area so let it let it yeah hang down a little bit lower mm -hmm. and so it really depends on what you're using it for right yes. and so some of us in the office uh blake actually he has a backpack for when he's riding his bike into work um or when he goes skateboarding he right. said you know mm -hmm. um and a, a messenger bag for when you need it for a more stylish situation so if you can you can even do both mm -hmm. uh and just use the one in the more or less formal situation right yeah absolutely Okay, so are there some general other style rules I need to know what, what, when I'm buying a, uh, either a backpack or a messenger bag? Um, as a good rule to follow, neutrals are going to be a good color because you're going to get the most versatility out of it. So browns, blacks, navy, gray, tans even. 
Um, those are going to match with a lot of different outfits, which is the point of a bag. You yeah. know, if you have a bag, you're probably going to use it every day. Um, so you want it to go up with a lot. Uh, leather is always a good fabric that lasts long. It looks great. Um, canvas as well, like a heavy canvas, more so for backpacks probably, um, also going to last you a long time. Yes. Um, and again, bags, you're going to use it frequently. If you find a good bag, then you want to carry it every day. You're right. going to carry a lot in it. So um, I would say don't be afraid to invest a little bit more money into it just yes. so you know it's going to last you long and you can get years out of and it. In terms of investment and then size, maybe size is one other question I have because a lot of us were carrying around a big investment if we were mm -hmm. carrying around our laptops in our bags. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, you want something that's going to be a, have a little bit more support for your laptop in case you drop it or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But is there is there a size that gets too big or too small when it comes to the bag? Um, you know, I mean, I think a laptop size and fitting a few books in with a laptop is the typical size for a messenger bag. Yeah. If you're getting too much bigger than that and you know you need to carry around a lot more, then maybe you do need a backpack. Okay. Um, just because if it gets to the point where you're kind of carrying a duffel bag, that's like a whole another yes. category. So yeah. um, so keep the messenger bag fairly small. You don't want to over have it be oversized. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So ultimately, guys, it kind of comes down to who you are, what what kind of style preferences you have, and what you're using it for. If you yeah. need a little bit more functionality, you might want to lean towards a backpack, something you can put on both shoulders and go around, go hiking, whatever. Uh, if you want to look a little bit more stylish, typically that's going to be in the messenger bag briefcase category, though there are some more stylish backpacks that are out there today. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, Allison, for joining us today, guys. Hope this was helpful for you in terms of picking what bag uh, you want to have. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't yet, go check out cladwell.com where you can get your free personal roadmap to dress better. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.